In this module, we're going to review the native print driver of the eStudio system. We'll take a look at how to navigate and use the most common print options of the device. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and open up my print driver and get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go to File and Print. The Toshiba Universal Print Driver is selected. I'm going to click on Properties, which brings me over here to the Basic tab. So first, let's focus on navigating the layout of the driver. The most commonly used print features are located on the Basic tab. However, you can see that there are multiple other tabs to choose from, so we're going to move from left to right across each one. Next tab over, Finishing. And on this Finishing tab, I have a few options. I'll point out that you can select double-sided printing right here. Uh, I could change the number of pages per sheet by selecting one of these. I could put a staple in the top left corner if I like, or perhaps I want to add hole punching, so I could select that. Just want to point out to you that everything that I've selected over here is graphically represented over here on the left. And if at any point I decide that I don't want some of the settings that I've chosen, I can simply come down here, click on Restore Defaults, and it will bring me right back to my original settings. Next tab over, Paper Handling. On this tab, you could insert a front cover, also insert a back cover, or perhaps you'd like to insert pages. So for instance, if you want to put a blue page in between pages 4 and 5 of your document, that's something that you could do. And if you want to remove all of those settings, once again, come down here to Restore Defaults, and it removes all the settings that you made on this tab. Next tab over is Image Quality. On the Image Quality tab, you could select Photograph if you were printing photographic images. Perhaps you want to bring out more vivid colors in your presentation, so you could select this presentation. Or maybe you're working with line art, which is great for things like maps and design drawings. And as always, if you want to remove any settings that you've made, you can restore defaults, brings you back to your original settings, which then brings me to my next tab, Effects tab. On this tab, you have the option of adding watermarks or overlay images. So I'm going to select Confidential from this dropdown. And you can see once I do that, I do have the option of adding this on the first page only or on each page. I also have the option of adding a custom watermark if I want to, or editing the current watermark selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit. And you can see that Confidential is written across my page like so. If I wanted to change the font type, I could select from there. I can change my style, the font size. I could choose to put this in red instead of gray. Uh, I can even move the confidential wording across my page. Maybe I want it to be in the top left corner or the bottom right corner, or maybe I like it exactly where it was in the center. So really simple to use. I'm just going to say OK here because I'm satisfied with my selections. And then the next thing that I want to show you is the overlay image. Overlay image allows you to print and store an image to be used as a background for print jobs. And a great example is printing digital letterhead to be overlaid with a print job. So gone are the days of the old school way of printing letterhead. And I'm going to go ahead and restore to default settings down here. And let's take a look at the next tab, the Others tab. So I'm going to skip over a lot of the features that you see on this tab, but there are two important ones that I'd like to point out to you. First is the toner save. So I'm going to check that box. And basically what that does, the print driver will communicate to the eStudio to use less toner when printing this document. Great for printing drafts of documents rather than wasting a lot of toner. And the next one is Do Not Print Blank Page. And it is just as it sounds. It will communicate to the eStudio that any blank pages that are included in the document are not printed and therefore less paper is wasted. Once again, I'm just going to restore my defaults and let's take a look at that last tab, Templates. So the Templates tab provides you with some commonly used settings options. And for instance, if you know that you're going to commonly duplex and staple, you could come to the Templates tab, select on that duplex and staple, and then once you've selected that, go ahead and say Print.